Good morning, afternoon, evening, graduates. It's Stella from Maple University. And Tarrant. We are here on a bright Sunday morning of Melbourne, Australia. Saying hello to everybody wherever you are. So welcome to our channel if you're new. If not, hello, welcome back. Whether you see it live or not. Today we are very excited to play Dunaya. So Dunaya, I think, is coming out or just came out. It is by Blam, uh, but I think somehow Lucky Duck helps with some of the distribution, not sure yet. I don't know if you heard of it. I feel like I haven't seen this game a lot. I've seen like maybe a couple, but I feel like more people should know about it because we play it. I love it. Is that, I like it, love it. I don't know. Whether use it for yourself, um, whether it's worth or not. So I probably like it more than you, as would normally other games do. But I'm quite surpri surprised about this game. I don't know much about it. And then I played it like, ah, oh, wow, this is this is awesome. Um, so I am quickly saying hello to Kevin, uh, Rini, and Coralou. Oh, hello, Coralou made it. Hi. Uh, and Kevin and everyone else. And Joy Joy. Hello, Joy. So we are playing this. Um, and um, Francis from Canada. So let me just guess. Kevin from US. Rini from... Amsterdam, Coralu in Canada, Kevin's in US, I think, Joyce from Melbourne, obviously, um, I stream with Joy a few times already in this channel, and Francis, Canada, obviously Slivers, hello, from Twitch, and Thai, I don't know where Thai is, I think US, Thai won a game before. Sounds so, familiar. I should know this, but I don't, I actually don't keep track. Uh, and Mr. Art Wonka from Greece. Let's have chocolate, shall we? <laughs> and mm -hmm. Serend, uh, Patrick's from Canada here too. Um, so I want to have to check your Twitter messages. Oh, oh no, what have I done? Um, I think Twitter messages. Okay, I'll check it. So there's nothing urgent. So. Nothing urgent. Oh, I don't like. I feel like there are times where oh no, I um, I've done something wrong or something like that. Um. No, I'm checking right now. Okay, so Slivers has got a question about off-play true. All right, we'll get back to that. Thanks for that. Um, it was probably this morning I was like getting ready to stream. Uh, so back to the chat. We'll get back to you. Thank you for that. Uh, Socks rules here, Freya. I don't know where everyone else saw you as living in the UK. Okay, okay, you are in the UK, that's it. And Marie, and Marie from Canada. Uh, Marie is from, um, well, it's our friend Marie, who's organizing or developing the game called Steam Up that makes you hungry. A feast of dim sim. Oh, there's Vuko uh, from Melbourne just made it. Yay! Welcome everybody. So what is this game about? So we'll get back to the uh, we'll get back to the hello a little bit later. So this is um, what is the theme of this game, Taran? This is a kind of like a druid or dunaya that is actually working, activating certain powers. So you build building. Um, the, it, the main mechanics is the di dice drafting. I usually like dice drafting. Dice rolling, but then you drive one play at a time. So it's not really like, oh, I have a bad die roll sort of thing. And we get building and we activate it uh, depending on our workers. So you'll see that very soon with Terence's famous explanation or in famous. Well, you've done most of the explanation. I oh, know. <laughs> You're just giving me credit for it. I don't have to lift a finger. No, I'm lying. All my fingers. On the table. Ha! Huh. You just shuffled yeah. the table. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, you dishevelled my. Oh, sorry. Oh, why is it dishevelled? As well? <laughs> What's going on? Um, sorry, Marie is also in Canada. Um, oh, everyone from around the world. I love it. Uh, where is? Oh yeah, good question. Where is one of three troubles? Must talk food. So that's Marie. Marie probably can ping Wyan to just come up and talk about food. Uh, <laughs> Brett, hey, uh, Brett from Facebook. Hello, glad to catch another live stream. Been too long. Welcome back. So, uh, what we're going to do, as usual, if you are familiar, um, if not, this is what I'm going to do. We are going to uh, explain an overview of the game, and we're going to explain as we go how the game plays, and then we are going to, uh, throughout the uh, the plot live playthrough. We are going to announce the password or how to enter our giveaway. It's a worldwide giveaway. Thanks to. Blam! You have to say it like that, blam. 
The Prime Minister's called Blam. It does have an exclamation. Yeah, mark exactly. Blam, 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 blam. Yeah. Nice, no, actually, just one blam. And um, we will draw this giveaway at the end of this live playthrough. Yes. Anything else do I miss, Tarot? No, I think that covers it. Mm -hmm. And you prepare for your dead joke as well? For everyone who's. Not I have not, but I'm sure I'll think it's. Okay. Everyone's not hanging for it. <laughs> what? That's yeah, okay. true. They're terrible. No. Well, I know that Pauline, which is trouble two of three, usually always come up with good puns, so we'll see. Maybe Marie has it as well. Uh, are they uh, making troubles? Mom Gamer here! Hello, hello! Mom Gamer, welcome! Welcome back, I should say. Yes. Um, okay, well, we're gonna... And if it is every, I think it is here, if it is anywhere else, happy Mother's Day, Mom Gamer. Oh yeah, yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Uh, is it US or is it Australia? I think it's it is everywhere. in Australia. I have a feeling it, it is, is well. in most places. Um, although it will be tomorrow in the US. Oh yeah, okay. It's coming. Happy Mother's Day, Mum Gamer, and everyone else who's a mum. And my yes. mum. Yes. Oh no, no one mentioned my mum. Mm -hmm. It's she's, okay. Yeah, it's she's, okay. She's, she's fine. She's just like, um, she's going to have heart surgery. Um, I think it's fine. It's fine. Alright, back to the game. Um, Alright, well... Um, We'll have a look. Oh, that's your enough from, um, from... Netherlands. No, I'm like, my, my brain just scrambled a little bit. Um, from Netherlands. How do you remember that? Because it's Dutch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, I know that. <laughs> so, um, my Miss Kirail, uh, Kevin. Um, hey, Kevin. Uh, is it? Is it you, Kevin, that, um, was chatting with me about Red Rising? I think it's you. <laughs> Alright, so I have a game play count. <clears throat> so this is the game. It's a we've kind of got our own little personal tile puzzle to deal with while also dealing with a communal dice draft. Um, there are some tiles here that we're competing over. So you'll see there's a there's a little bit of interaction here, but fundamentally you've got your own little puzzle that is the major element of your points. Right. Uh, Stella's playing yellow, I'm playing purple. You'll see here in the draft there are five white dice. I believe they will be black in the finished version. Yeah, it's... It's a neutral colour, one way or the other. And then there's one die of it's... each of our oh, colours. I, oh, I think the rule book should have mentioned white rather than black. Yeah, yeah one of not, those. Not dreadfully important, but yeah. there are five neutral ones and one in each of our colours. And we will go back and forth drafting the neutral dice first. And then when only our colours of dice are left, uh, we have to take those ones. So we don't have a choice over what our third or fourth action die is going to be. We have to prepare for that. When you take a die, your turn will comprise three main steps. Uh, you will activate the denier of the matching number. And that will activate the two buildings it is adjacent to. And so these are usually little standees, but they have numbers on them. And so we've laid them down so you can see the numbers. They don't fit terribly well where they're meant to go, but that's because, yes, they'll be standees when you normally play. So you would activate the two effects here. And then... Should I just do it? Oh, should I do it there? No, it's okay. okay. Yeah. We activate the two effects and then we recycle the die. And recycling the die then becomes a worker placement type of thing where you put it into one of the four recycling spaces and do the action that's there. Um, as we build level one buildings, that will give us some additional and more powerful recycling spaces that can only handle one die, uh, whereas these ones handle multiple. Uh, as you go through the game, you'll be collecting memory chips, which are these chips uh, numbered from 1 to 6. And those can be spent to activate these abilities here, um, which have different effects. That helps in the game, obviously. That helps in the game, as well as collecting artifacts that are worth points. So you get points for artifacts, you get points for buildings, level 3s in particular. No engine building, but a lot of points. There are points for these three objectives up here. And it ultimately plays relatively quickly. Once the three prophecies are gone, or once someone has completely filled their board with completed constructions, then the game will end. Yes. So these three, these special powers by when you get the relic, 
is different every game, so it's thrown randomly. Yep. Um, and these three objectives that uh, makes the end game trigger also draws randomly, but it must be one yellow, sorry, one orange, one green, and one purple. So it's sort of random. Yes. There's also asymmetric player power, slightly asymmetric player power, which we're not going to use in this game, but we're going to show you after. Um, anything else? So that's basically it for now. Anyway. Um, I could go on, but I think that will cover us for now. Mm -hmm. um, we, I didn't mention the construction of the building. So you take a building and then you have to activate it a couple of times with deniers or other effects in order to actually build it. Mm -hmm. Level one buildings, as I said, give us more recycle spaces. Level two buildings will combo off, they have combo powers off the buildings adjacent to them if they're the right color. And the level three score additional, pardon me, additional points based on the buildings around them. So there's um, there's a bit of interaction with the dice draft and uh, obtain whoever gets the building first or whoever activates the dice first because you can go to other players but you have to pay currency to activate, to use other players completed building for the power. Yes. But um, there's a, a, I think that there's a good puzzle on your board when placement of your worker, which one you want to activate, and which building to, you know, want to put what because it can worth um, a few points if you place it correctly. Yep. Hmm. And I'll just read the, uh, the thematic paragraph oh, yes. here yeah. in case you're wondering what a denier is. Yep. The deniers, beings of steel fueled by a mysterious energy and wielding complex powers. The first time I read that, I thought it said welding complex powers because it was <laughs> wielding because be it was beings of steel. So my mind <laughs> that went, makes yeah. sense. The man of uh, steel. Yep. Were the source of terrible <laughs> conflicts. Ancient tribes, now infamously known as the Fallen, mm -hmm. killed each other to control them. After their death, a prophecy heralding the coming of a new civilization was revealed as the chief of a tribe become the protector of the deniers and prove that your aim is to start a new age of peace. Mm. Well done. You're looking up welding jokes, aren't you? <laughs> you, just, you just give up my circuit to oh, everyone yeah. in the world. Let me glance across. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> ah, now I can't have a surprise anymore. Thanks to you, <laughs> that's okay. All right, let's give everybody the You're more, We're more likely to find <laughs> welding jokes than deniers jokes yep. because... <laughs> Welding <laughs> All right. So, why are all weld alum aluminium aluminium boats so boring? Um, they they have never done anything riveting. <laughs> so bad. I like, I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we are going to give everyone how to um the secret to win this game. It's difficult to weld <laughs> aluminium. <laughs> the secret the secret to weld aluminium. Yeah. Aluminium in uh, in the US and aluminium yes. in Australia. I remember <clears throat> chatting with a guy in hospital. He was mm -hmm. in the bed next to me several years ago and he was talking about being one of the few people with a in Melbourne with a aluminium welding license. Oh I was waiting for a punchline. No, no, it's, it's just, <laughs> Sorry, yes. It's just interesting. Aluminium's yeah, yeah. tough to weld apparently. And what did you learn from it? That aluminium is tough to weld. Okay. Good lesson. <laughs> and so do not start that if you don't want to invest all the time you have. It's like 3D printer. If you don't, if you can't commit, you just don't invest. Exactly. Same with aluminium welding. Yes. Okay. Anyways, the password, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how you enter to win the giveaway. It's uh, to go to mipleuniversity.com as usual slash giveaway. I mean, mipleuniversity.com slash giveaway, as usual. And the password is PROPHECY, all in capitals, uppercase. And uh, the simple form will reveal, and that's how you enter. Refresh your browser if that doesn't work. Um, the, game, um, the, the price is a copy of this particular game, Kinaya. Yes. Sent to you worldwide. All right, let's do this, Tara. Pick a first player. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, you win. Okay, here you go. You're the first one. All right, so let us see. Mother's Day, Mother's Day is everywhere, it's good. Eston Estonia, uh, Mother's Day is in Canada. Um, everybody. Uh, Lillian, hello, can only stay for a while. That's okay. Thanks for uh, saying hello and visiting us. And there's Milo. M Milo also in Netherlands, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's it's quite late in Europe, unfortunately. Yes. Um, Susan Alicio and a chunky monkey. Hello. I know how to say it correctly now because the first like a chunky monkey, a chunky monkey. I love it. <laughs> um, Instagram friends and passwords. Ooh, what does that mean? There's like there's some some symbols here. Hexabeast. Uh, is there a solo mode? <laughs> I don't think that's all about. Sorry, Hexabeast. Burning out, McKnight, um, and everybody that all recognize or oh, hello for the first time. Welcome to our little channel of the oh, <laughs> of Terrence and Terrence, Mrs. Terrence. <laughs> I took a six. Oh, you did? Why? <laughs> So I want it. So uh, this is my number 69. I yep. activate the two adjacent effects. Mm -hmm. This one gives me a metal flower, Just which the is the currency. And this one gives me the matching numbered memory chip. Which is to the denial, which is six. Number six. So that is the uh, awakening effect. Mm -hmm. And now I will do this recycle effect, which lets me buy one of these. What are they called? Buildings? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this building here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I'm going to place it up here in this top slot. Mm -hmm. It costs me one metal flower. I place my construction token on here. So this takes two steps to construct. I know what sound strategy I think. <laughs> is that a wise place to put it? That might not be a wise place know. to put it because if I do that, you can just take this two and then I can't. I, that, that is my plan strategy. anyway. Maybe, maybe not. So I might actually. Maybe not. Just to... I shouldn't actually say anything. But I mean, like, you know, you can see that there are a few trees. So this is where the yeah, kind of like yeah. interaction happens um, and the puzzle happens. Yeah. No, I'm going to hedge and I'm going to put it over mm -hmm. here next to my mm -hmm. three. You're welcome, Tarrant. I'm going to take... No, not three. And then... Oh yeah, that's right. Let's All right. I will take number two indeed because it's usually good to have the one that is the only one. So I'm just trying to block your opponents as well. Um, take the two, have <laughs> the hate graph. Um, and my d number two denier is right here. So these two get activated. I get a two chip, which I put over here and I get a metal flower, one of them. And with number two, I feel like it's probably a good time to get building as well, but which one, I don't know yet. So I put it there, activate this one to buy a building. I'll just pay the cost of it first, which is one. And I think I will take, ooh, that was actually good. Is that good? It's probably good. I don't know what is, um, yeah, I'll, I'll take this one and see what happens. So this is also a level one of being, so building. And I will put this here, um, maybe in here as well. Who knows? Well, your next die has to be a three, so. Hmm? Your next dice will be three and two. Yeah, there you go. And okay. um, you have only three of these tokens, so you can only have three building unfinished at a time. <coughs> you put it there. And that's my turn. Okay. I must take this three. Uh, I ch a chunky monkey, you say, I say it perfectly. Which one? A chunky monkey or a chunky monkey? It's basically the same with a different accent. Okay. A chunky? Oh, I, just, I just love it. It's something to do with like, like I'm a visual version. So when I say a chunky monkey, I just, wh what do you imagine, Taryn? You imagine like a monkey who's a chunky monkey. And it's like dancing around even like, oh yeah, try Hmm? A chunky monkey throwing barrels. Okay. Fine. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I must take a three because it's the only number Yay. of neutral die remaining. Girl who does her thing. I activate my number three, so I construct one step of this mm -hmm. building and I get one metal flower. Milo, you so. can always rewind. Hopefully, you can um, hear Taran's explanation again. Hexabis, I may have entered the giveaway before checking if the game is solo mode. No, my wife has to play. Yes, good excuse. Uh, and we've got Poppy uh, Costas. We've got um, Mauricio, whether new or um, regular. Um, so we're going to have... Are you done? Um, so I've 
I've taken this, I'm now trying to work out where to recycle this dye. That's okay, while you do that, I'll just um, ask everybody, please. I, I usually forget like 80% of the time. Um, if you um, enjoy it later, um, that would help us. If you can please like this video and subscribe to us. We've got live playtour like this every weekend and every Thursday evening in US, Canada time, Friday morning, Australia time, live playthrough. Amongst other things, we just released the oath, how to play video, for example, and um, my short and sweet, among other things. We almost reached 10,000 as well, so that's why um, that would really help. Thank you very much. Um, yes, Taran, back to Taran. Taran, right. bold move. I'm going to take memory chip number three with uh, this recycle effect. Oh, Corolla said, um, Chunky Monkey is often used as a nickname for adorable chubby babies. Okay. Ah, oh, there you go. I think it's probably a, a Canada thing, maybe? Or maybe I just don't know. <laughs> okay, you're good. Yes. Well, I only have one option. Okay, three. <laughs> um, so, we get to the colored dice later. So, number three. I will activate my number three, which is this one. And um, I get a chip number three. Now I have number two and three chip, but I can't really get any bonus at the moment. And then I will do what you get um, as your bonus. Oh, that the chip. Got the chip. But you got the chip, but you haven't actually get. What chip did you get? I took the three because I've covered up my chip getting space here. So. Mm. So the next one is two. Um, I think I want to get. It's not really good, and um, you know, there's not really good things that I want to actually get right now in there. So maybe, maybe I should get this one. So that's a green level two building. It will mm -hmm. cost you two metal flowers to take. Mm -hmm. Um. I will, I really want to put it here because it will combo, you know what, I'm going to put it here, um, although it's not going to get activated this turn. So I'm going to, I'm paying two. Mm -hmm. um, put your construction token on it. Thank you. Interesting. And then, is that it? Um, uh, yes, that is it. All right, I have to take this three. Mm -hmm. I activate this again, so I get a metal flower hey, for here. Sorry and if I miss everybody. Uh, is somebody? I I'm complete sure. this one. <laughs> Love it. Love the chat mode is your Gerard. Hello, friend. And I'm gonna check, make sure everyone's um, make sure I've got all the entries which I have. Yes. Yeah. I got all entries. All right. So knowing that I'm going to get a five next, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to I'm going to run a little slow. I'm going to take I'm going to recycle into here. This gets me two memory chips of my choice, mm -hmm. not five because I know I'll get that next time. So I'll take four and one. Mm -hmm. So I'll I could now activate this one if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. So please remind me what this is again. So this allows you to dig through one deck of your choice and choose whatever building you want and pay its cost and then reshuffle the deck. So I, I believe you reshuffle the whole deck. And I assume yes. you pay it at the cost on the left hand side rather than... If Yeah, unless you wanted to take one on the right. Mm. Okay. So what you want to do now? That's it. That is it. So obviously, so this is my colored dice, which is I'm the yellow player, and the last two dice that we have to take is our own. So from there, you can almost plan then what sort of things you want to get. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have that you know c combo correctly, so I activate this with my two Dania, uh, Dania and this one number two, which I already have. Um, I can't really get anything with this right now anyway, which kind of, you know, 
it's not a good planning on my side um, and with this one I can get what do I want to get maybe I should get it's probably too early to move at the moment I can get a chip to get me something um, two three I can actually get the movement bonus here maybe it's probably okay so what I'll do I'll get that one I will get chip number four two three I'm still at one ah oh, so sad there's always dilemma here and th th these two I don't really want because I already have this type of building do you want to get this next time maybe Karen maybe please get it <laughs> <laughs> Um, otherwise, well, I have that's to the benefit that. of this. Song. I know, I know. It's expensive though. It costs four memory chips. Mm. Mm. I could use this to get more metal powers if I want to. And one of our objectives here is to build up to twelve metal flowers. Mm -hmm. So, so it's not always bad to have it, but metal flowers is a little bit tough. Um, yeah, I'll just do that. Let's just see what happens. Let's get that. Okay. I take the number five, mm -hmm. I get a metal flower for this one, I get the number five chip for this one, and... Look at this? Uh, no, I'm not going to take that, I'm mm. going to recycle into here. Hey Scott, Brett would move over to YouTube for more chat, okay, that's fair. Um, and I'm just going to buy the top one. Wow, it's 2 a.m. where mom, mom gamer ah, is. I dropped one. That's okay, we'll take it later. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to take this one off the top here. Bye, mom gamer. Thanks for visiting us. It's so late already there. So a chunky monkey is just, uh, just a play of a chunky monkey. I love monkeys and use to go by BBMNKY. I'm quite a bit older than that. And chunky lol. <laughs> I just still like to imagine this is like a chunky monkey dancing around. That's, that's okay. Fun one. That's um. That's that. So mm. let us. The one and the board there. Hello. Welcome. Yes. So now that my turn is done, I'm still not going to spin any of these artifacts. Last time mm. we played, there was an objective to get two artifacts mm. as quickly as possible, and we uh, we raced to it. But I'm going oh. Threes again, completely full of threes. Yeah, sorry. You're including myself, and I get to start first. What's your two? Let's see. Uh, one and six. One and six. It doesn't actually do either way. It's good for you, <laughs> isn't it? Unless if you do this and then you move things around, that's probably. Yes, and that'll be what we get into soon, mm -hmm. is these deniers are not fixed here. You can take actions to move them around. You can have up to three in each uh, section between mm -hmm. two buildings. With that, I'll take the six. So I'll activate this one and um, this one, which is number six. Yep. This building completes, it goes back, goes back to that one, to the supply. This flips, now I can um, place my die here instead of there. Oh, Tarrant can as well by paying me one metal flower. Yes, which I do not have. Mm -hmm. So with the six, I really want to have. I want this gets me. It gets a building completed. Yeah, but I really want to move. I think I really want to move this three. There's a lot of threes coming. So, I probably would move it here. Ooh, is this is using, not good. Is that using this effect? Yeah. So, if I move here, I don't know why I put it like that. I, I keep getting the three things, but we'll see what happens. So, if I, put, I move my three here with this effect, and I have two, three, and six. So I still can't really um, 
I still can't really afford anything, but that's okay. Okay, you'll go. All right. Before I take my turn, I'm going to spend my five and six. Mm -hmm. Well done. To use this effect, so I get a a green artifact fragment. And these interlock together, so you're trying to create an artifact of three different lobes. Um, and that will give you some points at the end of the game. There is a, a, um, a prototype construction error on these, so they don't quite click together, but that'll be fixed in the final version. So I'm going to do that, that'll let me move two deniers around. Good morning, Justin. Welcome. Um, have not heard of Dunaya. Yes, this is why we're playing this because I think this game deserves attention. I think there will be people that like this game. Um, and uh, Mary Mama Bear. Um, happy Mother's Bear Mother's Day. Happy, <laughs> happy Mother's Day. I assume that you probably even like has got a kids or a pet. Anyways, um, <laughs> Tuan, I meant to join the stream for beginning but lost track of time. Lol, Tuan. Patrick, um, what's this? Uh, all right, there you go, Corolla. Questions for everyone. What are the best games that include monkeys? I can't think of anything at the moment. Uh, Pui the card game. What is that? <laughs> all right, so I've moved my yes. three here and my four here. Yeah. Then I'm Coconuts. going to take this three, mm -hmm. activate these two, so I get a metal flower. I advance this construction. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I did this in the wrong order. Hang on. The, uh, replace that now. I've thought ahead. I put a three and four here. Mm -hmm. So I advance this. I get one metal flower. And then I will recycle into here and spend that one metal flower to take this building and put it here. Hmm. Quite cute. <laughs> I don't know. Now I Let's don't do have enough memory chips to keep uh, using those effects, so mm -hmm. you'll go. Hmm. I'll actually take this one to get memory chip number one for this one for my number one denier and get a metal flower for that one. And am I able to? Yeah, I can. I can buy the top one. Or six, three, two, four. Yeah, I can buy the top one because I'm gonna need to use my three. This one, three, but three, four, or five, six. I don't have five. I don't have four, so top one is the only thing I can afford. So one, two, and three. One, two, and an extra one. An extra one, sorry, yeah. One, two, and then whatever it is. Um, to get this uh, fragment, oops, to move this. There's only one I can move. Mm. And then um, with this number one, I will let's see what's going on here. Terence has already gone there. Very good position here. I know what that he wants to get that one before. I want to do this one to get that one for three metal flower. Yeah. So that is a. It'll be worth three points, and it counts as any color for comboing with other level three buildings. Correct. All right. That is me. Oh, you have to have three. I must take a three. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I advance both of these constructions one step and I recycle this. There's a race here to complete building number one and two and three, I guess, first of the objective. Yeah, and I don't have any level twos out at the moment, so I'll recycle into here mm -hmm. to gain two extra chips. And that's seven buildings completed. Wow, okay. And what I might do is spend... What's that? I'll take the two and the five and then... Oh yeah, that's a good two one. Two random memory chips. Mm -hmm. And then I shall spend one, a two and a five. 
business wise. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that may not work out for me. Hang on. Mm -hmm. What did I take? A two and a five? Well. I shall take a one, a two, and a three. Mm -hmm. Spend those to activate this one. And that lets me do an extra step of construction right. on this central building. All right. Well, I have to have a three here because the white dice, um, the white dice might go first. So activating number three, I've got this one, which moves the construction. And this one also, which moves construction. Um, I know that I've, I'm activating another three, number three later because I've got number three here. So with this one, I probably want to get some, I'll get a chip, a chip of number. You can get a chip of any color when you recycle, a uh, number, sorry, when you recycle into that space. Yeah. I'll get a chip of number. Boop, 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 boop. Let's just get number three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have to take this four. I activate these two. That completes both of those constructions. Oh, not three, sorry, six. You have six. Four. Four. Thank you. Sorry. Not that your your move. Oh, you completed. Well done. Okay. Equals first continent has got gorillas, yes. Zulareto. Has got yeah. monkey, right? True. Yes. All right. Now, what do I go. do Scott with says. this? So, Matt. Hi, Matt. So, what will make sense for me now is to recycle this into papaya monkey. This spare memory chip here. Mm -hmm. uh, that will let me take a six. Uh, because if you look at the way my deniers are now laid out, five of the six of them are around buildings that don't activate when they awaken and two of them are between two non-activating buildings so yeah. by having a five and six i'm going to move those guys out before i draw my next die yeah that's good so i've got this one three and i activating number three again which just move this one here move this one here to make it available i mean finished Complete. complete it. thank you so that one is worth two denier moves because there's a denier move in the middle mm -hmm. and then it move, you get one extra denier move because there's a green completed building here and then when this wild is completed it'll also be worth a metal flower mm -hmm. uh, i really want to do that but i don't uh what i really want to have here is probably you know what i'll just oh well, really want like I can move around but I don't know what dice is coming out next which is a tricky thing it's mm -hmm. nice to be able to move if you get the number five metal or the number five memory chip mm -hmm. then you can wait to see what dice come before you use the elders effect mm -hmm. but if you recycle then you have to use that correct and I kind of wish that there's a way of resetting um, the building that is not being it. Yeah, which is where this one comes in. When That's someone correct, uses actually. that, you can pick one from a pile and mm -hmm. you shuffle the pile so it resets the top one. Mm. Yes, correct. All right, so I activated those two. And then I'm with my three. I can go, I can activate, no, I don't activate this one, but with dice. This not is activated with, with Dunaya. I can activate this one by moving it here, but it's not really agency at the moment. So, and I don't have metal flower. So I can either move, which I don't know what's going to happen yet. So I don't have metal flowers, so my best bet is to activate a chip of um, any none that I want. Um, and with that, I would like what I have only this one so far. So I can get, oh gosh, I, I'll get number three, okay, this time. Right, that's it. Of course, there was a there was a um, probably I don't know if anyone's mentioned it. Probably the most famous uh, monkey game because it was temporarily number one on BGG's um, top hundred list was uh, Auto Monkey Races or Monkey Auto Races. Yeah, 
Is it by mistake or something, right? Or it was an April. It was an April Fool's joke where everyone banded together and mm-hmm. voted for something in an extremely silly way, <laughs> and it was basically, I think, you. It was a. It was a child's activity from the late. What 60s. is it called again? Monkey auto races, I think. Okay. You basically Let's have a look. Um, it was little more than a costume that children then um, raced each other around mm. the living room with. Is it this one? Yes. Oh yes, Monkey one. Auto Races, nineteen sixty-seven. Yeah. It's back down at fourteen thousand one hundred nineteen <laughs> now. <but. laughs> it's only thirteen. Um, thirteen people own this game. That's hilarious. Good work, people. Uh, papaya Monkey. I love papaya. <laughs> oh, Hallie, um, I hope you're having fun. Quite a colourful looking game. I think this is what you might like, Hallie. Um, so not everything is a three this time, which is delightful. Elena. Whose um, turn is it? Mine or yours? yours. Okay. Mm-hmm. I guess I picked last time, pretty sure. Yes, that's right. Okay. <clears throat> so let's work out what I want to do. I need to finish with a number two. Um... So I'm definitely going to start by uh, doing this movement action. Now because I already have a green artifact fragment, I don't take an artifact for doing this. Mm -hmm. But I still think it's... So it's inefficient from an artifact gathering standpoint, but Mm -hmm. it's the right thing to do right now. Okay. So what'd you do? Oh, you haven't done anything yet, sorry. I haven't done it yet. (laughs) So I need to... I get to move two of them. I'm going to move my my three and four are worthless there, but mm-hmm. my four doesn't have to move urgently. So I'll move my three down here, mm-hmm. and I'll move my five down here because there's a couple of fives in play. Yes, that will do. Then I'll take this three. Mm-hmm. I'll activate these. One metal flower and the number three chip comes into my collection. It's a bit heavy for us today in Melbourne. Yeah, I've had a bad <laughs> autumn season. Yeah. Right, and then this one is going to be used to get a new building. Mm-hmm. So I'll spend that one metal flower and I'm going to take this put it here. That's you. That's me. To get number three. Great. Uh, so out of this I can only do one or five. Um, I probably do five because then I think either way it's it's just the same result for me. So I better look at how <laughs> activate. So it doesn't really matter. There are two of those. So I'll take the number one and I will activate number one, which is one of these chips. Number one and one metal flower. And I will go and hmm. go and finally get this one. So that's chip number three and four and two of anything. So that is very expensive, but I finally can afford this. Um, and I'm gonna find something that's in here that I can get. Let's see. There are four different. There are four different colors of uh, buildings here: mm-hmm. red, green, purple, and yellow. Mm-hmm. And I think there are four different recycle effects. Or is can it I? Just three? Can I also see what is available here, and then I shuffle it again, like the second forward? Um, like I leave this one, and then I just want to like plan ahead a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. And that is part of the, mm-hmm. the essence of this game. It's a very simple uh, 
Yeah, there's a few, there's several different ways to take actions, but there's not that many different actions. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have shuffled shuffle this. <laughs> okay, shuffle. Mm. Can you shuffle it, please? So that, in, mm. yeah. And the top one was this one. Yep. Oops. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just put in whatever order and it's okay, right? Okay. Yeah. Did you look? Okay. okay. Right. I must say the metal flowers are coming out more slowly in this game. We haven't had level one buildings with the three metal flower actions, so it's making things. And we don't. And we had a, an elder last time that granted you more metal flowers as well. So correct. Um, it's a very tight economy in the game that has the twelve metal flowers prophecy. Mm. Let's get this one then, speaking about metal flowers. And I shuffle this. Yep. This is good because this will refresh this pile of thing and then uh, Taryn is like hoping that it is a, a good one here that for you. <laughs> Let's see what happened here. Quick. It's the same one. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I really don't know what's going on. But I finally, finally decided to get this one with this chip. And I will place this somewhere. Let me place it here. Okay. Where's my five? Place it here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Uh, and this one. You put your construction token. Hmm? Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> Number one. Um, I can get metal flower, or I can get this one, which I don't probably want. No, I get metal flower. Why not? Yeah, that's it. So this is I'm activating no, my own that, That's not completed yet. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Um, I can put it there to get the chip. Oh, sorry. What was what it was the number? Doesn't matter what the number is. Okay. I think it was one. It was one. Did you uh, pay for the building? I can't I, remember. I forgot. I think I didn't. Because you were you were penniless before I think yeah probably yeah penniless sounds like me um to handle four that's it you go that's my long term thank you for your passion everybody all right I will take this five hi Ryan Construct Ryan that. made it take this chip and um, cycle baboon this. battle uh, social grooming, blindly negotiate human blood. Oh, that's interesting. I'm just like banana bandits. Like, we all are talking about monkey games. Excellent. Um, Rachel Dove, welcome to the monkey chat. Um, Alphard and metal flowers do not sound appealing at all. <laughs> yeah, what's the story behind metal flowers? Um, it's just the currency that's in use in this game. I think it, I don't know. I think there are people out there who do sort of beautiful steel work mm. and and making sort of you know, leaf floral type things out of metal. Okay. Um, it would be a very heavy bouquet and it would be very dangerous at a wedding. That's actually well, don't use it in that way. If you put it as just a decoration and then no one touches it and it's nothing sharp around it, then that's fine. But if a couple really enjoyed, you know, welding aluminium together. <laughs> Wielding turn. <laughs> Good one. Um, what was I doing? So I activated, I I activated these. Now I have to work out where to recycle. Um, I really wish I had more metal flowers. It's, it's very frustrating, actually. Not All right. Any, so <clears throat> I'm just going to have to... Uh, I'm just going to go into here and grab one. Okay, so that's my go. I'd like to activate my five to go here. And a metal flower. I should have taken the chip. Then moved everyone before my next turn. Oh, sorry. Is it too late? No, it's too, too late. late yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. Um, and then what do I have here, number six? Oh, I have to move number six. I'll move number six. I just realized. <coughs> 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 
probably what are they? Mm. Okay, I have to mm -hmm. take number one. Yep. Which is a weak action. I only get this here. And I want to play the Magnificent. So people, I've seen it around, and I haven't actually know what it is about. I should look it up really. Um, Hexy Beast has got Instagram account that features Magnificent, Milo like Magnificent. So those two are good recommendations from two people I trust. So I should probably play. Yep. All right. That's yep. that's me. Yep. Well, my player color, which is six, I activate number six here, which gives me one metal flower. Um, construction of this, which now flipped over, and I can activate that to get three metal flowers. Your okay. go. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to spend these two chips to do movement before I activate here. Mm -hmm. So of course I'll move my number two down here. Of course. And my number four is in a pretty worthless position at the moment, so I might yeah. pop him over here. I'm actually weakening my deniers quite a lot because I don't have any level two buildings. Mm. I'll do that. Uh, then I'll take this two. Mm -hmm. I get a number two chip. I complete this building. And I need another metal flower. <laughs> metal flowers, metal flowers. La la la, I want metal flowers. So tight on metal flowers. I know, this game is it's different. That's the thing, like, each game has got different, like, um, these special actions are different in each game. Uh, there's one that lets you get two metal flowers is easier. And this building is, can give you metal flowers and nothing's come up so far. Yep, yeah, there's one of Naturally. these that even lets you treat buildings as multiple colours. Ah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Darren, panic. Ah, we're back. Oh, that was a three. We're back to the threes, Aww. everybody. <laughs> At least we both suffer, right? It's my turn now. Okay. Hmm. Oh, of course I want number two. Where's my number four here? Uh, yeah, of course I want number two. So number two here. So I activate this one, and I activate this one, which is a metal flower. Metal flower, metal flower. And I will place this here to get three metal flowers. Before Tarrant come there and then take it from me by paying one. So you get two. Yeah. Like Which of course I would have done. Yeah. I knew it. Um I think that's that's my go. Your yep. go now. My go. I shall make number three. See where yours are. <laughs> Don't worry about me, you know. Yeah, I'll take a three. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I know yeah. what I think you think yeah. that I think. I'll take the three. I get a. F oh, actually, yeah. no, because that's a waste of. Davins are different holes, and I nice dice play with I'm moving, that anyway. so I'm I'm moving from monkey game to dice placement or dice drafting. So I take a six. I take a six. The movie was the majestic. Complete okay. This. Khan. Stylized about a circus. Ah, oh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I love the like a like the circus theme. Like it's so like it's like ha happy but mysterious and fun. I think that's what I um, get from um, from the game and the circus. I don't know if the game's like that. Now, I am looking at dice drafting. Thank you very much, everybody. This is interesting. But if I lose, I, I, I will blame you all for distract me. No? No. No, I won't blame you. All right, so mm -hmm. I've bought this building for two metal flowers yes. out of here. Mm -hmm. Then what I'm going to do is spend a three and a four and two others. Mm -hmm. to take this effect and look through here mm -hmm. for a building of my choice. Aha. <laughs> you have your own metal flower. 
building yep. thingy. Yeah. Okay, come on, come on. Give us good building talent at the top for me. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then I put this one here, and then I recycle this. And where shall I recycle it? Hmm. Kind of happy with the placement of my deniers at the moment, so oh, I have to pay the metal flower for that building, Ooh. and I get this artifact. So I complete let me get one that locks in properly. Mm -hmm. I complete my first artifact, which is worth a point. The points for artifacts are going to go up significantly as you. That's get really more, hard in this game. But getting... it's quite hard yeah. in this particular. What is this? Is it? Oh, this is the. It's one of the ones that was printed backwards in the prototype. Yeah. No, okay. it's the it's the orange one that's the problem. Okay. So let's just get rid of that for now, and take that one. No, it's not. It's not the orange one, is it? It's the red one. See? Doesn't matter. Does not matter for now. All right. Well deal with that later um mm. what was that i was like i got distracted with the oh, yeah that one is backwards okay uh -huh. all right dude I imperium to... we're playing dude imperium imperium next thursday evening Woo! do you know our imperium do not <laughs> deny it tune. i'm waiting do... for that one though. yes thank you <laughs> i'm sure somebody mentioned it i probably missed it um all right that is your turn um that i'll cycle turn. into here and i shall get my I'll get my three and four back. <laughs> no, I'll get my one and two, I right. think. Give me some construction flex. Mm. Okay. I'll get number three. So I'll activate this one and this one. So first I activate, this is my number three denier. I activate this one first. It flips over. I get this one because I complete level one and two and three building. Correct. This is why you were smiling and looking at my board, did you? Yeah. I had no way of stopping it. Yeah, I know. Well, lucky. And then the second one is this one. Um, I Because I complete this one first, this activate as a for this is a wild card, wild color building. So I get to activate this one, which is one movement of the Naya. Ooh. And this one was to, because the building to this direction is completed so i get one metal flower and the building to this one also complete and also green which is movement so i got two movements and one metal flower mm -hmm. so with this i would like to move uh, this was this is kind of like useless now so i'm gonna move this one here and What's going to activate next? Maybe. Oh, this is like, ooh. You know what? Just slightly. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. That one. Maybe. Maybe that will help. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, I'm going to put this one to here to get a building and I will take this one with cost off one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You go. All right. Um, you can look at mine. Yeah, so what's less useful to you? Four or one? Or four or three? Oh, yeah. A four here. Three here. Both are... You already have a chip, so four only gets you one metal flower. So I'll leave you with a four. Mm -hmm. um, so three gives me Ooh. construction on both of these. Mistake. Mistake we made. Mistakes were made already. I'll do there to get one extra construction. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're done? Will I do that? Hang on. I might, mm -hmm. rather than placing there, I might do something up there, perhaps. Mm. 
No, there's nowhere really good for me to recycle at the moment. Mm. I'll go there and I'll get the okay. flower. Number four is for me, so I get a metal flower. And I already have cheap as Taran already said, which is boo. And I will put this here. I'll actually put it here. Hang on, is that how it works? When you recycle, yes. So this is to move one of your thing forward. Yep. Mm -hmm. I know what your next turn is. <laughs> well, I'm taking that. I'll take this <laughs> one and two. There is some, you know, advanced planning in this game, which I like. Not too much because your opponent might ruin it. One, two, and I'll... No, I won't. Oh, I thought that. I didn't think that through very well. Sorry, Tarot. <laughs> you, you're looking at my it. board too much and then you... <laughs> <laughs> now complete this one. Uh, unfair and funfair. Ooh. Which one do you like? Unfair or funfair? Funfair. Funfair? Yeah, me too, I think. Unfair is a little bit... A little bit... Um, take that E. Well, you've already built that stuff, I guess. It's up to you, right? Yeah, I'll take these. I'll take these flowers while I can get them. So, uh, for those who haven't entered one per person, that's how you enter the giveaway, uh, which we will draw at the end of this playthrough. Password prophecy. Go to mipleuniversity.com/giveaway and fill out the simple form. And if the um, if the browser doesn't work, sometimes you just need to refresh, and then the form will pop up. All right. Um, it's my turn now. Actually, I'm Are you not going oh, this is a... I know. This is a tough call. I'm going to... I think you don't know what's the, night, the next dice is going to roll, right? So you can't yeah. really plan ahead for that well. No, that's all right, actually. I'll take yep. the flowers. How many flowers do you get? Three. Okay. Because I've got the capability to make something out of it anyway. Okay. okay. So my color dice, so number one, I activate this one. Boop. And that building is built. And this one is one metal flower. And this one to put it there to get three metal flowers. Hence completing this objective to have 12. So I give up. Do I give up or do I not give up? You don't give up. Oh you yeah, that's right. Let's go Because the, the 12 metal flowers are worth four points by themselves. So. That's true. Okay. Mm -hmm. And re-roll. Shuffle them up. And, also, and then you'll, you will go first. And just like touch it. Hopefully it's like a good left note. Maybe not. No. Oh, no. <laughs> five. Okay. Four, five, five. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. So I will. I will start by spending these three chips to complete this one. Mm -hmm. And I get an artifact mm -hmm. that matches it. Now I can activate any one of these numbers. Does four help you? Four does help you. Let's take that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four doesn't help you that much because you've still got the chip of that color already. Mm. But it's the only thing I can deprive you of. So. <laughs> Just don't be mean. Doesn't make it okay. doesn't make a big difference. Okay, okay. Alright, so this one now gives me two moves and a metal flower. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I take the flower and I will do two moves. Um and I guess there's fives and ones and threes, so <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit 
a it's, it's definitely there's a bit of a strategy here when you you do that. Five and ones, and then I will cycle mm. this die into here to get a new building. I like this chat. Uh, Castle of Burgundy. If you like Castle of Burgundy, try Castle of Tuscany. That's a lighter version of Burgundy. Are you done? Um, just looking at Sorry. what I what I should take. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I've we've got um, H. Fryan one three three zero four um, that does. Um, Spammy, want to become famous? Oh, I want to become famous. Um, I'm gonna have to block that. How do I block this? Let's do this. Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't know how to do that. Ban. Is there a ban one? Ban. There you go. I think the chat dis should disappear. Right. Thank I'll you. It disappear. Three flowers to take this. Maybe one. not yet. Maybe soon. Um, okay. Okay, you're good. Um, hey, Abraham. Uh, I had a plan. Oh, I think number five. Um, activate two metal flowers. I've got a lot of metal flowers now. You do. And then I will put it there and help you. With one metal flowers, one mm. usually flower. No, <laughs> and then I get two of my choices, which is let's get number three. That's two. Sorry, <laughs> thank you, Tarrant. Three and three and six, maybe three and two. Okay. Take number five. Mm -hmm. So activate these. That advances this one. And I get the number five chip. And then I will cycle this one into here with that extra metal flower you gave me to get this building. Mm, you're welcome, Terrence. Thank you. <laughs> well, I have to take number one. There's nothing to activate there, and that's just one uh, measly metal flower. But I will take this, I will put this one to activate uh, that one to get a number. Um, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna give up anyway. So I wanna take this one. Oh, hang on, I can't take this one. I can use this power, I just don't get the, the flower. You need one more chip to use that power. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I've got three and four and something else, so this is all gone. Um, I don't take that because I have to complete my metal flower before I take another same of color. Um, so I activate that. Mm. I will look through this deck to get the things that I want. Mm. Which one is that? That one. Okay. So I shuffle this again. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Mm, interesting. All right. What's interesting? <laughs> <laughs> you interesting. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. I have to take the one. Mm -hmm. I construct both of these. And I will in a very simple way move my number three up here ready for next time okay hmm or no that's how i'll do it okay i will take this number one doesn't activate that but it activates one metal flower Oh, I haven't paid the building, sorry. That was one, two, five. three, four, five. Thank you. Uh, have enough. I was like, oh, do I have still a lot? Oh, okay. You still have a lot. Yeah. 
<laughs> one, two, <laughs> it doesn't actually do that much that well. I'm gonna go here. Let's start that. Mm. Is that what you wanna go? Where you wanna go or something? You look like mm, you're smirking. <laughs> no, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> feeds into my strategy, so uh -huh. three and three, and I am going to. I'm going to recycle into here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to complete what's worth more. Mm -hmm. I'll complete this one. That was here. Mm -hmm. That gives me the Ooh. seven, and mm -hmm. so that triggers the end of the game. So Stella has two more turns, and I have one. So I have to really like complete these four points here. Yeah, but you're going to be able to. That's why I was like, I was looking at that you already had six buildings, yeah. and that's the end game trigger. So this is almost the end, everybody. Yep, I should have tried to. I couldn't have rushed to finish it earlier. Mm. So I think I'm going to fall one one turn short here. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So I have two more turns. I don't get. I won't get to my yep. yellow dice, and that's my turn now. Probably, what is this, six and five? It's two, where's my two? Oh, two also helps, that's okay, six it is then. So, activate number six, which is um, one metal flower. My six is here, and uh, this one. Mm -hmm. And cycle. I definitely will need to go there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, where can I earn the most? And uh, with two, I can activate that one, the completion, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yep, really there's not... Um, my best play is to take the one, because there's a one under here. Mm -hmm. Complete this. Well done. And cycle this into... here, to get three metal flowers, which is worth one point. Okay. My last, this is the last one in the game, is getting number two, activates number two, complete this one and probably get metal flowers no it doesn't really matter at this stage get metal flowers that's one point for me yeah that's it that is the that's end now we done. do uh scoring and we count it up so each building is worth one two or three points if it's a level one two or three the level two or the level threes are worth we two points zoom, when in, zoom in, in per building let's do that Let's shuffle all this Yay! Stuff away. Every day we're shuffling. We'll have a look at we'll have a look at my my score first. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are my artifacts. Yep. Alright, so artifacts, you score one for your first complete artifact, two or uh, three if you've got two, six if you've got three, ten, fourteen, eighteen, etc. I've got one, so that's one point. Yep. I got one point because I've got three leftover metal flowers. I've got three points for these prophecies, mm -hmm. for this prophecy, so that's five points here. Then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. I think you got this one, Tara. Thirty-one points. So for me. I've got da, score to beat. I don't know about 31. that. All right, let's see if I can match that. Uh, the building first one plus three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. And this one is um, it's two so thirteen fifteen seventeen. That's it for the building. Yep. And I've got zero completed flowers. I've got this one too, so that's 19. Yep. Plus three. Is 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, is that it? That's it. And what was yours? 31. Congratulations, there you go, you won. Yay, so Taryn won this one. I won last game at least. <laughs> no, but you helped me as well. Well done. It's uh, it's I think it's pro um it's good decision for you to rush to the end at the end. 
Um, I think, yes, because if you'd managed to lock down another sort of combo here, it was getting very close, and you had a better flower engine mm -hmm. really through the game than I did. Uh, a couple, you had one more chip would have got you mm -hmm. uh, one point here, so it was, it was getting very close. Yeah, yeah. so uh, it, was, it was really close, 29 to 31, was it? Yeah. Yeah. So. I say the game played quite differently to last time just because of the uh, variable versions. We kept mentioning it, the elders for these artifact pieces were way more expensive this time. Mm -hmm. And so last time I think we were both, you had three artifacts, I think, and I, three mm -hmm. completed artifacts and yeah. I had two. Or four, um, I think I've, may even have got, it was cheaper yeah, last time. Yeah, you got to four, yeah. yeah. So you got heaps of points out of that. Um, they were similar scores in the end, but it just played quite differently. But the biggest, I mean, the biggest thing I learned the first time around, I put a level one building in the middle of the board and I lost from that point. Oh, yes, that, that was like really... It was just so stupid. Yeah, because... Combo with nothing. So get a level three in the... That the one that combos to, depending on what buildings you put around you. Yeah, you essentially, you want a good level three in the middle that you get 11 points off. Mm -hmm. And then if you do it right, like I did over here, you can get seven points off one in the corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that will harm your engine build if you if you otherwise do it. So I think at the very least you want to score. Let's see the winner's board here. Yeah. Yeah. At the very least you want to get 11 well points done. off this middle one. And then other than that, play to the game, play mm -hmm. to the objectives that are there. Mm -hmm. If artifacts are cheap, go for them. If buildings are coming up that give you lots of chips versus ones that give you lots of metal flowers, which you just didn't have, mm -hmm. then... Because if you can get a good metal flower engine going, like a, a tile like this, it's oh, the other way of doing oh, it. Right. If, yeah, yeah. if you can lock this in the middle with four mm. greens very quickly, you can be generating 1.7 points per turn just by activating deniers mm. around the middle. Like you, you just you know, get, just get them all for a congregation here in the middle <laughs> yes. and like generate a point every turn. Mm. And in a game where the final score is... 30-ish, mm. that's... This is why I really like this game. Do you agree? Like, do you feel like you like it more after the second play now? I think I do. I think the first time I felt it was a little bit too personal puzzly, but, you know, it does... You do have to play to what's out there and you've got to play to what the other people are doing. Mm, absolutely. Um, and... Still there with yeah, two players is direct combat. I do like that. I think being able I know, to I knew it. <laughs> being able to look at your board and make an <laughs> informed mini. dice decision at two players rather than at three or the four. The word that you're looking for was uh, is hate draft. Um, I, I I'd like to find a, a less vicious <laughs> term for that. So um, before we um, draw, we're going to show you the asymmetric power. But before that, um, we're going to show you the password as well. Um, but even before that, we're going to uh, ask you to help us by hitting that like button and comments so other people can find this video later and subscribe to us for things like this um, how to play, play through, obviously, and more. And um, I have to advertise myself, right, as always. Who will advertise? <laughs> Anyways, this is how you enter. So go to mebleuniversity.com slash giveaway and put the password in prophecy or in capital uppercase and a form will pop up or refresh it so a form will pop up and fill it up and uh, thanks to Blam you'll get a copy of this game that we just played tonight yeah, um, yes. sent to you as well op open worldwide as well yes and, and of course as we mentioned before these usually go on standees this one yeah uh, not laying down yeah. flat as we had here it would have looked a little bit clunky but that was just so we could mm. give you uh, the numbers from overhead and this coming week, this Thursday evening, afternoon, US, Canada time, we'll be playing June Imperium. And this time I'll bring Taryn. Yay! So Taryn's uh, got the day off then, so Taryn can play with me. And Day off from one job, day on for another. It's not a, a job, it's <laughs> like, just play with me, you're wise. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> and um, in the next weekend, similar time, we'll be playing Merchant's Curve. Now, Merchant's Curve is very, um, it's a different, the uh, same goal, but then each 
player is very asymmetric the way they score the way they produce the goods so we put up a poll so if you want to check out Mipo University on YouTube and go to community tab and you can vote there what two characters that we you want to see played so I know that some of you have already voted and comment um, I know Milo for example I voted and um, because there are four in the base game and then I think three more in um, the expansion so so far we've got Chronomancers which looks like um, Back to the Future and the other one is the uh, Alchemist. Alchemist I think that was got voted so we'll see it might st still change um, we'll leave it until I think tonight until we decide when that's going to um, be voted we'll, I can't remember what it was like last night tonight let's leave it till tonight so if you still want to vote yeah. to see what characters you want to play in. Um, Darren will show you the asymmetric characters. Yep, so you I'll can bring this away so that mm. it's not blood that side. Okay. Yep, so you can play with these asymmetric powers as well. Uh, they give you a little bonus in certain areas mm -hmm. if you want to mix it up. So you've got um, you know, you've got a free movement of the denier you activate at each mm -hmm. turn. Uh, you've got one, uh, you've got spending metal flowers to advance your constructions more quickly, giving up chips to get metal flowers. So little things that will uh, give you an edge in a certain area of the game. Um, that's really it. That's all I had to say about those. Uh, really nice arc there. Yeah. Uh, giant giant Q-tip here. <laughs> giant Q-tip. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? Reminds me of. <laughs> Reminds me of something obscure. That yeah, yeah, okay, of course. Taran would just go out to me, up to me and then just laugh so hard and I would not get what, what yeah. they want. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've given up me trying to explain. It's usually just remembering some television show I, that Stella's <laughs> never heard of. So I, I have to explain <laughs> what the show is and mm. then the context of the episode mm -hmm. and then this mildly amusing thing out of it. That, yeah. And most of the time when Taran does it, I just say... Don't worry about it. This, this. Yes. <laughs> We've give, given up trying to explain <laughs> amusing moments from <laughs> the adventures of Pete and Pete. Oh, thanks, Coral. Look, how it's so nice to vote on what characters they'll play. Mitchell's got to go to this one. Oh, so sweet. Hopefully, you caught what. Um, what do you want us um, to play, Coral? I just, I'm just curious. Hopefully, that will get voted as well. We um. We're going to draw this, obviously. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We've got seventy-nine entries. It's a good. Uh, Let me make sure that no, good input today. Um, every every week is good input, Taryn. Yeah. What are we talking about? Seventy-nine. You're closing at seventy-nine. Um, yep. Yeah, close at seventy-nine. <laughs> Mom, gamer. Hey, they can't sleep, <laughs> so I came right back. <laughs> Welcome back. We're just about to draw this. Uh, just in time for drawing, yes. Uh, let's see. Um, would you like to come a bit, a little bit closer? A little, 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 little tiny bit closer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What did we say we um, we um, ended 79. up with? Thank you. Here it is. Da, da, da. 79. So we've got GS24 at 79, for example. You can see, um, you know, everybody here. And let's see, I'm interested in number one. Number one, Francis, and then John, Kevin M, that sure that, and so on, and so forth. All right, let's do this. Go back to this. Oh, it's actually 80. 80 now. Let me see. We got one last entries. Um, there you go, Henry. Okay, we're closing at 80. Going once, going twice. What are you doing, Tara? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now? Double framing. What's double framing? I got a, a frame on both sides. It's like when I'm busy on something and I'll look up there and do something. <laughs> <laughs> a nice one. Um, okay, close that entry. Going. What was that? <laughs> Three. It doesn't work this time, Taran. We don't put the green screen on. We don't on. have a green screen. <laughs> no. Well, if you, if you saw our, our thing last time, <laughs> last week, um, we had fun with some green screen. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do this. We've got 80 now. Um, <laughs> let's see. 
Um, what was that again? 80. 80. Oh, sorry. What's going on? It's like... Uh, 80. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> so what do I miss? 80 is a nice round number. Yes. Okay. Da, 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 da. Good luck, everybody. Would you like to... <laughs> Parents and tell me this thing again. Thanks. We've got number. The winner is number 30. 30. Round numbers all around. Okay. One number all around. Let's count. 30 is just an 80 with the front cut off. Get <laughs> 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 this through. It is number 30, and that is Giggles. 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 Congratulations, Giggles. Giggles. <laughs> Sweet. Congratulations, you want a copy of Naya. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a job well. That's in a jolly mood this uh, this morning. <laughs> so it would be amusing to watch it fall. <laughs> you, you thought, hang on, you thought it would be amazing to watch it fall. What is that? What sort of comment is that? Congratulations, <laughs> Deagles, Deagles. I it's saw you somewhere there. Congratulations. Fun with it. Yeah. So I'll email you. So watch out for that. Congratulations. So. I'll email you and it might go to the junk mail. Um, I think some people say that it might. So check your junk mail as well soon. And we organize the game to be sent to you. Congratulations. Again, happy Mother's Day. Hopefully you have a really great Mother's Day. Whether you're not, you're not even a mother, I can pretend to be a mother, no? You can trust me, can trust me well anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's it, hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye everybody. Bye. Thank you so much everybody for staying around and chatting and you know encouraging us for and then congratulations Taryn. And Bye. congratulations to you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Secret ending. If you know already what um, that's, this is our tradition. Pretty much on every stream right now. Mm -hmm. Parent, speaking about what you say about Dunaya, the through the wielding power, we have some welding jokes. Yes. Uh, so, what do you call two daggers welded together? Uh, Darth Maul's dagger. Why is that? Because he had that double lightsaber and I was like, ooh, double lightsaber. When episode one came out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, a, a chival union. A Sorry? Chival? Chival? Chival, chival, okay, chival union. Right, yeah. Chival Prison union. Shiv, that's a, Shiv, yeah. <laughs> that's a stretch. Is okay. it good, right? <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, next one is... Two metal workers got married. It was, a it was a beautiful welding. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, not me, I, I shouldn't take care of credit. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Welding puns. Okay. Um, Milo, oh, Milo asks, uh, what's this? Uh, a shivered, a shivered onion. <laughs> Hexy beast. Um, Milo asks, what's this Kickstarter game? No, I think it's released. I think. Um, it's being released to public, I think. <laughs> Alright, green screen fun, that's why I never leave. Um, hmm, that's a quite a long one. <laughs> you know why frogs don't weld? Because they're still ribbit. Ribbit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Um, all, right, all right, one more. If Noah, you know, the, you know, the legend, the not the arc guy, the arc guy, <laughs> the arc guy Noah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the biblical, uh, the biblical, yeah, that sounds the bi better. The biblical <laughs> arc guy. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, if Noah were to build a boat today, would it be steel? 
held together with arc welding. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, everybody. Uh, thank you for listening for our bad dad joke, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye. That's awkward. <laughs> yeah, but that's your fault. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna start packing up. Okay, then bye. <laughs>